on today's episode of Bucked Up. Anybody can rap. There's a million people on the route right now and I ain't got no money. Like, and it's people way harder than me, way harder than any, you feel me? Jay Z or anybody. You feel me? But I ain't got no money. You think you're you a good businessman? You gotta have you gotta have the brains for this shit. Hey, you wanna date me though, I got too many kids. <laughs> How many kids you got? Twenty. You got twenty? This is one of the first interviews I've ever done not smoking. Uh, we can't, we can smoke here? I don't think we can smoke in here. Oh, We're in a fucking burger spot. <laughs> most places I go, just a little bit, but most places I go, I want to smoke. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, I do too. I be like this too. It's so we go. You think we'll be able to get to a place in time where we can just smoke everywhere? Yeah. Like inside and shit? For sure. It's already going to be legal here where I am. What's it like down in Tennessee, in Memphis? It ain't legal yet. It's almost. It's oh, really? Almost. almost. Are they ain't tough it? with it? Will nah. they stop you and shit? Nah. I saw your interview. I tried to ask five bitches to come. No one pulled up. <laughs> 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 I, couldn't get, I couldn't get a single bitch to pull up. <laughs> We could have them lining outside eating ah. birds and shit. <laughs> We got this cute ass dog though. <laughs> you can't do that dog. It's cool. Your team was like, they're really with you, bro. They talk, they really like fuck with you and talk highly about you, which was cool. I already knew it. It has supposed to be though. Yeah, yeah but I don't think a lot of people actually have that, you know? It's just I don't know, I guess this is how it is, how the world set up. How did you build that? How did you build people who support you? Loyalty. Loyalty, you know. Staying around, staying down, you know. Doing right by the right people, you know. That's how it goes. Being around for a minute. Yeah, long time. So but you've been pushing for a minute. Yeah, I've been doing I've been doing since it started. I just started taking it serious though. Why? You no, know, I feel like they were bro on it for me. No, he died, man. You no, know, before he died, I won't even drop it like that. When he was here, I won't even drop it like that because I wasn't taking it just this serious. Yeah. When he died, you know, I just started going crazy because I knew this all he wanted me to do was to go crazy. He want to see me turn. Yeah. Go crazy. Yeah. Doesn't it suck that the worst things in life make you, like, push the hardest? For sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's how it be, though. You got to go through some shit, you know, to get where you're going. Yeah. I always trial and tribulation. Yeah. The pendulum always has to swing both ways, you know? Yeah. But that, is, that does suck. Do you feel like immediately afterwards you had like energy inside you or did it take you a little bit to get there? I ain't gonna lie, real quick. It was real quick. I snapped real quick. It wasn't that long. I ain't do all the greed and like, it weren't. Real quick, I bounced that real quick. That's a snap of that. So, so. What's the best piece of information that he left me? Go get the money. That's what sucks, bro. You think you <laughs> want to just be the artist, but you really got to be the businessman. You got to. I mean, you got, you know, you got folks to feed, you got folks to pin, you got to sponsor business. Yeah. You know, that's how they have to be. You got a sponsor business. It's the music business. Ain't all this street business too. It's everything. Like, you got yeah. a sponsor business. It's everywhere. You feel Do you enjoy the music business? It's cool, but, you know, that ain't what I was dreaming to do. You feel me? But right now, it's cool. Right now, but, you know. What you money, dream to do? I like the money. You feel me? I like money. Anything get money. You feel me? Hustle. Anything get money, I like it. You feel yeah. me? Like, Anything like this getting money, I like it. You feel me? Like the the music getting money, I like it. Yeah, you feel me? What were your dreams? What did you think your dream was gonna be? I wanted to play football, but I was too lazy. I'm just doing too much other stuff. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if you could be a football player. <laughs> You're pretty small, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, were you good though? 
I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. I don't even, I, I was too lazy. Yeah, yeah. It was a dream, though, yeah. It was just a dream, yeah. But you're not lazy with this music shit. It's not nah, like you're a nah, lazy yeah, person. Yeah, 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 I just go and do, save my life. I feel like music ain't even, like, it ain't real music no more. It's like, you ain't got to do nothing to go and express your life. You feel yeah. That's all they want to hear anyway. You feel they ain't care about nothing else. It could be the hardest song ever, yeah, and they don't even really care about it. They just want to hear about some. That's the life. You feel yeah. anything that's really going on. There's no such thing as like mainstream anymore. Nah, so so. No. You find your own core audience, and that's how you do it. Yeah, how you do it. So, when did you find your core audience? When did you feel like people were really starting to listen to you? Mm, how would I drop down a fizzle? When I drop, nah, I'll take that back. I dropped Grand Prince. I want to say that was on uh, Color Purple. It was either Color Purple or I think it was the Grand Prince. When so I heard I First Things First, bro, that's what, <laughs> that shit was not, bro. <laughs> I feel like they were my, they were my first, they were my first, like, industry record. Mm -hmm. Like, they was the one gonna give me an air. I feel like- What do you two, mean industry record? Like, it wasn't on no drill, it wasn't on no drill music, but, no, none of that, no too much gangster, you feel me, but it's just yeah. like kitschy, like it was industry. Right Do you not place. like making that type of shit? Yeah, but it be the mode I be getting in, it's just how I feel when I go in the studio, you know? Yeah. Yo, they were asking me what my favorite track off of your new project was. What it was? The one with 03. Uh, yeah, I did one of my sons too. For sure. yeah. I did one of my sons too. I remember sure. listening to 03 early, early, like before all that. Uh, shit. How do you guys get linked up? No, uh, 03 the hood, you know, he, he Grace Street on Grace Street, you know, it was before Ralph. You know, he was bigger than it. Was before before Ralph? Yeah, it was, he was, I don't even think bro was thinking about rapping then when we first met. And yeah, he was just around, you know, he was always, he was lit already before he was rapping, so, you know, he was already moving around, then he was the hood, both of the great streets, so that's how we linked up. Yeah, but that's different coasts, you know what I mean? Like... It don't matter when you, when you, yeah. real, when you, when you real in the streets, it don't even matter. Like, I know great streets from all around the world. So you didn't know he was making, he wasn't making music. Nah, he wasn't making, he wasn't thinking about music. Cause in the yeah. song, the story is like he was, you were going out there and he was yeah, coming he was out just, here. Yeah, we were just kicking it with each other. We were just vibing with each other. He feeling like, it. like my brother. He feeling it. we were just vibing with each other. Was that the first song y'all did together? No, nah, we had we had one on Cold Purple. We had one really? on Gang. On Gang. Wait, yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and yeah, see that. Yeah, you gotta shit. go back for sure. Damn, was that before he got no? Yeah, that was before he got locked up. Damn, yeah. bro, I'm mad as hell. I didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, this is this our second set. <laughs> but this is your favorite song off the project, the one with 03? Yeah, do you like, like, now that the project's out, like, do you like releasing music? Because now, like, the business side kicks in, right? You have to come do this, you have to go do interviews, yeah. like. I cool, I like it. I ain't gonna lie, right? It's cool right now. You feel me? Like, at first, I didn't. But now, now I do, I feel like they're listening right now. I feel like I found my way, and I feel like I found my way in the studio right now, so mm -hmm. they're paying attention right now. But really, like I said, when it all boils down, it's all really about the money. How much money I can get a battle before it's over, before all this dry down, you feel me? Do, is there a blueprint to making money in this shit? Like, do is it easier than you think, or what is it? Is it luck? Is it God? What? Nah, it's about hustle, it's about, you gotta have brains, like, Anybody can rap. It's a million people on the rap right now, and I ain't got no money. Like any, it's people way harder than me, way harder than any. You feel me, Jay Z or anybody? You feel me? But they ain't got no money. You think you're you a good have, businessman? You gotta have, you gotta have the brains for this shit. You gotta have a hustle mentality. It doesn't matter, talent. You know, you know, you, you know Kevin Hart, right? Yeah. I love Kevin Hart, but I don't think he's like. The funniest comedian in the world. Who you but think he's funny? The, Who you think the funniest? Was? I mean, shit like Chappelle. I feel like <laughs> Chappelle. Well, you ever see Chappelle's Block Party? You ever see yeah, that? Yeah, I see Chappelle. That was my dad's favorite movie growing up. Yeah. So like, <laughs> rapping comedy was like, I'm a comedian. Like, I mm. tour doing comedy. That's my full time job. I hear that hard. Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever do comedy? 
you're a funny motherfucker when I watch that interview, bro. <laughs> I think it's a natural. I think it's a natural. I think I was a naturally funny. I don't know. I think I was a natural. You think you okay. could? You don't think you could do stand up? Nah, nah. I think it just kind of come natural. I just gotta be a. You gotta record me. You just gotta put a camera on me as well. Like a reality show. Yeah, I need a reality show. That's what I need. You could do that. You, you could do a dating show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of. <laughs> 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 you can do good. a fucking dating. Show. Hey, who won't date me? Though? I got too many kids. How, How many, many kids do? you got? Twenty. You got twenty? The last interview, I think I saw fourteen. I bet they were last. You got twenty? A couple years ago, interview. Do you have a favorite? He <laughs> <laughs> might not have a favorite. I know he got a least favorite. <laughs> I got a least favorite thing on the show. Oh, at I least ain't favorite. got no favorite. I don't, I don't believe. I don't believe you can have two kids with a female unless you're supposed to be married. Mm. So after one, I'm gone. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what you learned. <laughs> Confucius said. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, twenty. Do they all live in your area? Nah, I don't know where. I got a baby out here. Oh, in New York? Damn. Yo, same color. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You got reasons to travel everywhere. You're like, yeah. I ain't going for work. I'm going. I'm going yeah, to uh, make a couple babies for sure. How do you celebrate Christmases and shit? <laughs> I start shopping right now. <laughs> <laughs> Three Dude, months ahead of time. Do you just get bulk of the same gift? Nah, I just, I go around like sometimes write the list down. You know, we just go buy everything off the list, take it by the list. What do you think's gonna, like, what do you think about your long lasting longevity? Do you think about it with your kids or your music or both? Like, you say who? Like, what do you, th was there a reason for you? Like, do you think your kids are gonna be your, like, lasting longevity in life? Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's why I think I'm making all these kids. Yeah, yeah. Do you want them to do music? I don't care what they do. I got kids do everything. They're going to be bankers, lawyers. Yeah, you could have a whole team. Yeah, you have I a got, whole legal team with that shit. Yeah, I got a lot of different things going on with the kids, like rappers, baseball, soccer. They can do anything. It's so many. There's going to be so much, so much stuff going on. How old are you? I'm 29. Right now. You're 29? Yeah. Damn, you're not even 30 yet. You have a lot of time to go. A lot of babies. You're young, too. But I'm not even like you're young in life and shit. You know, <laughs> I bet it don't feel that way. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Your kid come around, like you know. How old were you when you had your first kid? I like 13, 14. Yeah, since then, it's been on and popping every yeah, year. I know some years had three, four at the same time. Mm-hmm. You, you, have have you ever met somebody that had three, four kids in the same, in same year? I have no, I have no kids. Oh. Yeah, I have no, I'm I 26. I'm, I'm 26. I got three years to catch up with you. <laughs> but you made it. I can't even get five girls to come here, though, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the wildest night on tour you ever had was? Legally, to even talk about. Mm. Yeah, a lot of things on tour in there. A lot of things. A lot of stuff went down on tour. The wildest night. I see a wildest city. Yeah, wildest city. Probably. Yeah, Boston. We just left Boston. You were in Boston? Yeah. Damn, I'm mad I missed that. That's where I'm from. I live outside of Boston. Yeah, we was in Boston. Everybody was showing that. Why was Boston lit? It was just a vibe. It was just a vibe. Like, the crowd would turn. I didn't expect the crowd to be that turn. Like, you feel me? Like, they were my first time in Boston. They would turn, turn. They would turn. I don't know if I was tripping or what. <laughs> yeah, they would turn to them. Uh, you ever bombed? You ever had a bad show? Yeah. 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 Now, this shit come with the game. Mm-hmm. You no, know, hey, crew, them no off Do you like performing? Depending on the mode I'm in. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a, I, I be doing a lot of fun and shit. You know, I, I go out a lot, so, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they don't even do nothing to me. It's normal, like. 
You like going clubbing? I probably go clubbing Monday to Monday right now. Really? <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm Most, miss, I'm, don't miss the 50 freaking bitches, man. You know. That's crazy. What's the most money you've thrown in a night? I don't. I don't throw no money, no clue. No money? No. I'm the one that strip a page. It's a secret. <laughs> you want to know some real shit? I got paid to interview this stripper once. These dudes they paid me to interview them. I was like, I ain't never spent it any money <laughs> ever again. You don't want to spend no more money with the day they paying you. The girl asked me to be her pimp, swear to God, bro. <laughs> I swear. She was like, you travel like for comedy? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you want to like, can I travel with you when you like collect the money at the end of the night? <laughs> you found that, my boy. Wait, hey, where you let her go? You let her know. <laughs> I don't think anyone's taking me seriously, bro. <laughs> I have a Mickey Mouse t-shirt on, right? <laughs> College shirt right on, you don't know. Still drippy though. Where's the camera? <laughs> Who else you see pull off the Mickey Mouse collared shirt? No bad. <laughs> no bad. What's the worst purchase you ever made? Mm, I paid for a boy for one thing. That's the worst sport purchase? I don't like a boy. I don't like killing kids. Mm. But this girl was crazy. I couldn't have no baby boy. So I had to. Damn. I felt bad at the end of it, though. Yeah? Yeah. I think I shared it, too. Damn, that is a sad one. I yeah. thought it was gonna be something like clothes or cars, but no, nah, I feel you. That shit. Abortion. Do you still th do you still think about that shit? Oh, the abortion. You still I think about another baby? You know, it was, it was, it, I feel bad about it then. You know. Yeah, yeah, but you don't think about it now like that shit. No, you asked me what was the worst person. Not no, the worst I feel feeling. you. But I don't. It was the worst feeling. It was just. I my didn't worst know. Purchase. I just didn't think about that as a purchase. You know what I mean? I get it. It's a money transaction. Yes, I yeah, have money. I paid more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a car that you spent too much money. Right, I really on, feel but... like I was a trick because she spoke to me. I, I feel like a trick. Yeah, no, I feel you. That does I don't suck. I'm paying no boys. No, I'm sorry about that. Don't pay for no boys there. No, I'm sorry about that. That does suck. Most expen, most like lavish thing you ever bought. Most expensive, expensive? thing. I smoke weed every day. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. I smoke I'm weed happy every so day. Much. How much you smoke yeah, a day? Like two bucks. Two bucks. Yeah, back to back chain smoke. Like two, like over an ounce a day? Whoa, way over an ounce a day for sure. For sure. Q you know, I smoke Q an ounce in one session. QP a day? Proud about this. That's expensive right there. That's more than rent, probably. Favorite strain? Mmm. Anything got tell on. If you say tell on, it's my favorite strip. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck with edibles? No, no. They fuck you up. No, no edibles, no drink, no pill. Casamigo, Grandma Ye, and Sadi. That's it. And wow. weed. And weed. Blunts or joints? Gravel leaf, backwood, no paper. I just smoke papers now. I oh, cut no, out no, blunts no. and shit. You be putting the, the tobacco shit up in your Just room? straight weed. I just smoke straight weed. I don't smoke as much as you. I See, I feel like if I had money too, I would. But that's the problem. The more weed you get, the more you just want to smoke it. <laughs> remember? Remember, what, what's the first time you smoked? <laughs> my whole family smoked, so I think I can't even smoke it. Remember when a dime would last you? Like, <laughs> yeah, my whole family get high. <laughs> You don't remember when you would buy like a little amount of weed and that shit would last you like? I don't know when I first started getting weed. I wasn't even I was stealing weed from my granddad. Yeah, he a heavy smoker too. I said like, I think it's a moon. Like, I think if you look up Smith, it might end with weed. It might say weed. They were weed smokers. You ever smoke with him? Oh. Your grandfather? Of course. Oh, <laughs> 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 gee. <laughs> you ever do mushrooms or anything like that? Yeah, nah, it ain't my cup of tea. Why? I don't like seeing shit. Yeah. I'm already crazy. I don't like getting to see shit. You see shit visual already? So I was like on mushroom here, look like a, a vampire or some shit. You look like you're in the Matrix. <laughs> 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 He's about to put out his hands with the fucking. <laughs> oh, oh 
Uh, what's your favorite city to like enjoy? Like not crazy, but favorite city to travel to? Washington, D.C. Really? I'm mean, like D.C. since I was probably about since I started going on the road. Really? I love you fuck DC. with the music out there? Cool. Like Trail, yeah. Yeah. Little cool. Dude, and all that. Cool. I fuck with that scene heavy. The DMV area. Yeah, DMV hard. You ever listen to Griselda? Griselda. West Side Gun, Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine. I heard them. You ever hear of that? I heard them. I like the females, the females. Yeah? Yeah, with females, then I'm gone. This episode is sponsored by Infused Productions. They are the best in cannabis products and events. Make sure to follow them online at Infused Productions. That's I N F. U-Z-E-D Productions, and check out what they have going on. Let's get back into it. Who do you think the hardest female out right now? Uh, I'm talking about, I don't know about their music. I'm talking about their bodies and... Oh, you know, so you talking about something else. I ain't trying to leave it. <laughs> I thought you were saying female rappers were your favorite out. You're talking about... I got, hard, I got a hard female, though. Her name is Hard female. She's from Chicago. Who's the next up in Memphis? Mm. Next up in Memphis. Out of our team or not nah, out of our team? It can be out of your team, but just like, who do you think? I, us, ain't nobody, they signed to us. Oh my, we run this. Outside our team, matter of fact, outside our team, I do got a favorite rapper in me. My baby mama, she bumped. Really? Yeah, I go look She's up. Spit? Spit. What's her name? Oh, Tasty. Bumping. You make... <laughs> Bumping. You make music together? Yeah. <laughs> I got all these kids, baby. We got a jack, jack of trades right here, motherfucker, you know? You got a song with each of them? You make them jump on a feature? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not. They got to spit a 16? Everybody don't They got to have a kid and spit a 16? Oh, What's up, what's up? What you doing out next in New York? You going to the club tonight? Yeah, for club popping somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you got where the club at? I don't, I'm not from New York. I came just for this. I'm from Boston. Oh, I'm from Massachusetts. Shit. We need to be going to Boston then. I ain't know about club. Yeah, you, you got to drive back to Boston. <laughs> Providence, Rhode Island got the craziest club. So, so. During quarantine, they had plastic up around the stage and shit. That's weird shit. Weird shit, right? Yeah, weird shit. What do you got coming next? Like, are you working on music? Yeah, I work here. Yeah. I've mean, been in the studio every yeah, day. Got the looks coming out. Yeah. You're in the studio every day. How much? How many songs do you make in a week, would you say? <laughs> I probably do like eight hours in the studio, literally every day. I really try to do, I do 12, but you know, the weekend, I be trying to go out and party, so you know, I might cut a shot. Yeah. But other than that, through the weekday, I'm like 12 hours, six. How so many so songs so are being made in like a eight twelve uh, hour? Four five. How many see the like, how many are gonna get released? I got so much music, you can't release all of them. I got probably about five, six or CDs worth of music right now. Damn. And I'm still going there making music. So is this last album, is that like old? Like you've had that in the like you've it's had a mixture. It's a mixture. It's a mixture. Yeah. Some are old, some are brand new. Some of the songs I made right before the day I put it out, the CD. Really? Which song? <laughs> YBR. Really? YBR. Damn, you, you made that baby. the day before? Yeah. And then you were like, this has to go out? Yeah, I like the category. Because it was too hard? Yeah. That's crazy. <coughs> That's crazy. So most of the songs aren't going to see the light of day. Yeah, it's over, so. How you feel about that? Sure Do you wish you could release that. it all? <coughs> I'm gonna just go here. I ain't got a wish to win. Ooh, a win is we independent. What I'm wishing for, shit, we do what we want to. Shit, shit gonna get put out. Yeah. Then just, I feel like when I feel like it's the right time, put it out. No, we ain't got no say cop. Put this shit out. You can release it whenever you want. Shit. That's I'm beautiful. Listen, you gotta listen to my band. That's dope that you can release when you want. That's dope so, as hell. So. Did the lights just turn off in here? Am I crazy? All right. I was like, damn. How do you eat your burger? Well done. Well done? Yeah, well, as long as it's well done. Are you a picky eater? Nah, nah. Seafood? I eat seafood. Sushi? No, hell, nah. Nothing nah. raw. Nothing raw. 
No pussy. Nothing wrong. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Only when you're having the kids. Nah, nah. You always should eat. That was somebody told me a long time. Ago. Oh, no eating wrong. <laughs> eat nothing wrong. Well done. Nothing wrong. That's why you like milk. Huh? You, like, you like older women that way? Oh. <laughs> I like all types. <laughs> I like all types of women. What's your type? You don't have a type? Freaky. Freaky? You gotta be freaky. You gotta be freaky. I know we're in a burger restaurant, but I do have to ask you, freakiest bitch you ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a lot of freaky bitches. <laughs> There's not one that stands out in your mind? I can't think right now. Damn. We it's are lot, in a it's a lot of shit. You it's a lot of shit go down in the great world right now. Oh, really? I, I, I need needed like a little camera, like a blog my life. Mm-hmm. But shit's going down? Yeah, it go down. Go down. How do you find inspiration? Um... My kids, you know, the gang, the gang be turned, you feel me? Bitches, you know? <laughs> yeah. My nigga. You know? That's what keeps you going. Yeah. Man, thank so, you so. for doing this. Right. I appreciate your time, for right. real though. This was dope right. as hell. Appreciate it. It's all good. Appreciate you having me. Yeah. Of course. Thank you for 7th Street Burger for having us. Where yeah. can people find your shit? Ed Paper, I just feel good, everything. Shout out you. Shout out your team for sitting there and watching. Gang. I appreciate all of y'all. Mm -hmm. Peace out, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,